Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I'm at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today I have with me Mr. Fang Hui, VP of ZTE, who's going to help me understand a little bit more about Rich Communication Suite. Fang, really good to catch up today. Thank you for spending time with me. I'd like to know a little bit more about Rich Com Communication Suite, or RCS, especially in terms of what happened with your experience at China Mobile. Mm -hmm. In last year, 2014, uh, the, uh, the president of China Mobile has announced the, their strategy in 4G in Barcelona last year. Uh, the new contact and the new message and the new voice, uh, the, their strategy last year. And uh, in this year, we ZT help China Mobile demonstrate the strategy in Barcelona this year. And uh, just in one year, the, uh, the uh, China Mobile has launched their 4G service. 4G service, yeah. In, in one year, they have uh, the active user of 4G is about 100 million, just 100 million, yeah. <laughs> just in one, uh, in one year, in, in 2014. And so, uh, uh, as you know, the uh, China Unicom and China Telecom has just been launched the 4G license, just, uh, I think, uh, one, w one week. So how to compete with other operators in, chi in 4G market? So China Mobile has prepared for one year in the RCS. What is your view on the competition between RCS and OTT? The OTT has a uh, good competition with uh, op telecom operators. So how to compete with the uh, OTT service providers in the 4G? I think the RCS will be the key, key killer service to compete with them. The first uh, is for the instant message. It, it can good have good quality, good co quality of service to compete with uh, WeChat and other, and other uh, OTT service provider. The good quality, good quality, first in instant message. And second is for the, uh, I think, real identity. Yeah, yeah. You 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 have the mobile numbers to identify your in the mobile internet. The, and the third is for the O2O. To, to compete with the uh, OTT service. Could you tell me a little bit more about the planning around the RCS project at China Mobile? Mm -hmm. RCS has been deployed in New York for the, uh, the named joint with the five big operators such as for the France Telecom and Vodafone and, and that. But I think the business, business model may be not successful in New York. So to avoid uh, to have a successful business mode, so China Mobile named that enhanced RCS enhanced access, not uh, traditional access, enhanced access. So uh, they want to uh, deploy this access as a killer service in the 4G. And as they uh, plan, in the end of this year, the capacity of the access may be 100 million, 100 million. And the active user may be 16 million, 16 million, yeah. And also uh, for, uh, for this service, uh, China Mobile deploys access as a, uh, NFV based, so it can be rapidly rolled out. And what do you see as the potential of RCS in the Chinese market? I think it will be successful. You, you know, for the RCS will be native, native. So if you buy a 4G handset, the RCS in, in is a native service. Yeah. So as as you know, everybody in the 4G service, in the, everybody will uh, replace their handset in the 4G market. Yeah. Maybe one year, one handset for the iPhone, for the Samsung, and for also for ZT, for ZT handset, yeah, 4G handset. So if you uh, replace your handset, a 4G handset, and you will be the RCS users. So I think it will be very successful in the 4G market. And what do you see as the potential for RCS in the broader Asian market? As you know, more and more operators of Asia uh, country has issued the 4G license in this year, in the coming, coming years. So I think uh, as uh, uh, MS based uh, RCS will be widely deployed in the Asian market. As, you, uh, as we ZT just announced that our market share of, of 4G has, dub, uh, um, has doubled in last year. So I think uh, our RCS will be a, a, a good successful in the uh, coming LT market. Thank you, thank you so much for being with me today and explaining more about RCS. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that.